everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. I'm so excited, y'all. I was on the website for Target today or yesterday, I don't know. But I was on it and I just reviewed their 25 year uh, thing. Love this. Great, it's like wonderful. And I was gonna use one of the Man Eater After Dark palettes. They're so dark, like they're just not my vibe right now, even though this look is very dark. But what brought to my attention was that they were going to be doing their Christmas releases. And last year, I believe, they launched, could have been the year prior. No, it was last year for these. Was it though? This could have been the year before, and the other two were last year's. Regardless, these are two of my favorite palettes. Beautiful, stunning, quality, amazing, two for one. They had them on sale for like half price. And I was like, whoa. And I get it. They're trying to move inventory. But y'all, if you, 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 you can get it, like grab it up. So the first palette is called Glamour. Or, I'm sorry. That's the one we're using. First, the other palette is called Gilded. It's Gilded and Glamour. And Gilded is more warm tone browns to pinky browns. Well, you got a ton of peach there too. So warm it's basically warm let's just go with that this is all warm tone colors but you have light to dark and the formulas the metallics it's so good so good so worth everything and here's the thing i've noticed the last couple years with tart they have been consistent where Too Faced and their christmas stuff has not always been consistent However, I have enjoyed their bigger palettes. Not so much the smaller ones. I've enjoyed them, but I do think you can get better. You know what I mean? Like, they're fine, but you can get better. With these, these are, they, they're good. Like, for the price point, for the packaging, for the formulas, for it all. You know, the whole top thing. And this one is the quarter palette, and it's just gorgeous to me. It's so pretty. And I was so glad that I got to play with the Hershey's chocolate chip palette they are I'm sorry the Hershey cookies and cream by glam light to figure out how I like to wear blues and ever since then love this palette too I might like the glam light just, just, just a bit better but to be fair I mean if you want a more elegant you would go this way you want more playful go cookies and cream it's just whatever preference you have so for foundation today, I am wearing my Makeup Forever Reboot for concealer. I am wearing my uh, nude stick to set the T or the middle of the yeah T zone and under the eyes with the Prism Libre. I set the rest of my face with the Natasha Denona for bronzer. I'm wearing what am I wearing for bronzer actually? Oh, I'm wearing the Sigma Bonzo. I'm trying to give it a chance, you all. Just don't know about that. For a blush, I'm wearing the Tarte Blush in Pate. And I'm wearing their Highlighter in Spellbound Glow. So let's get this Pate started. Alright, for the first shade, I use the shade Charm to set my eyeshadow primer. The primer I'm using is the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Potion Primer. That's a long Why can't they just make stuff easy? Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer. How hard is it? Although it's really anti-aging, I mean, I don't know. Neither here nor there. Anyway, we're going to go into the shade Deco now. That's the right brush. I was like, is this the right brush? Is it? I don't know. And I like the way they set these palettes up because you can go by the row. Mm -hmm. You should go by the row. You, I mean, it's set up to go by the row. But you could also do it in, in like, not necessarily columns, but kind of. Like, more like a... A quad, maybe. 
depending on how you really wanted to shift the shades and stuff. But it's up to you on that. I mean, there's just so many possibilities. And I just, for the price of these two, and I bought them at full price, and I absolutely adore them. Like, adore them. So if you can get it at half price for both palettes, run your double stop. Because they are so good. Now, you gotta like the color stories. So, you know, if you don't like the color stories, then obviously not worth it. Because you won't use it. But if you do like the color stories, like, you are so getting your money's worth. And I'm trying really hard to be not consistent or realistic because I am that, but I don't know, something like, like, I like the Urban Decay Naked palette, like that, for example. I like that palette. It was fine, you know? I never had it. I wanted it. For reasons of I never had it. Not because I thought it was going to be spectacular. Not because it's the color story is just so crazy and out of this world. Nothing like that. I wanted it because it's iconic for its time. It is nowhere near iconic in this time. Okay, let's get this straight. But for that time it was. And even at that, it wasn't even, I mean, after playing with it, it's great and all. But, like, I still think I like my Naked 2 and Naked 3 better. So, I can see why I kind of didn't purchase it. I'm glad I did. But, like, I'm not going to suggest you all run out and spend your hard-earned money on that. When, at that price tag now, you can get the Natasha Denona I Need a New, the Glam palette. Like, those two palettes, those are the only two palettes you need in your whole collection for, like, neutral looks, technically. There's other palettes, obviously, I would recommend. We're going to go into luxury now, this dark blue. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to be more like that. Like, be like, yes, it's good. Yes, you'll probably like it if you buy it. But, blah, blah, blah. Let's be honest. It's not iconic in today's time. Is it? It's probably even a little sentimental, to be honest. People buying it. Not because it's attached to a, uh, a theme, but a time in their life almost, you know? That's where it becomes, you know, that. But, you know, I don't know. I'm just at a loss of words today. I have so much to do. I had another job in up here. Well, I don't know. I think it went okay, but I don't know. And that's the thing, it's like when they don't hire, like, why don't they tell you, you know? Like, this is what you need to work on type of thing. That way, you have a better shot next time. And I get it, it ain't their problem. But for someone that's really looking for a job, like, I think that would be helpful. But the only thing they say, seriously, is, we don't think it's a fit, or we found someone better. Okay, better how? Or we hired someone we knew. Okay, I got it. The shade, if you're really, I don't think it's the shade though, I think it's the primer to be fair, it's 
not working as well as it did on the other eye. I'm not going to lie. You can see I'm struggling a little bit here. Although, let's get out of here because it could be me. I mean, I do what I know. Like, I hate it when it comes to doing makeup because it's so hard to try to get them each even. But, I mean, obviously, I'm blessed that I'm still here. Picking. So, you know, there's that. But sometimes it makes for a challenge, that's for sure. I'm trying to figure out. And then I've noticed, probably in the last couple weeks, Right through here, it's getting drier and drier, and I don't understand. It's like my skin changing. Probably. I am getting older each day. And stress is really playing its part. And to be fair, I haven't been able to. We're going to take that luxury color and run it under the lower lash line. I haven't been able to like, do my facial devices and stuff. I'm not going to lie. And then, unfortunately, if you don't do them, A, you won't see progress, but B, you'll lose progress that you have, you know, created or made. So that kind of sucks, but I just, I haven't had the time, and I've been so worried and trying to find a job, and Christmas is coming, all the new launches, and no, I don't need to buy them, I understand that more things to worry about in this world I get it but like I like to do this you know like it's a hobby I like to see what the companies are coming out with I like to feel the formulas in in person I like to have them compare them to like last year's or you know whatever it may be and I know I can do all that through pictures and, and stuff but it's not the same it's really not and I do do it so, you know, you all don't have to be the fools, or I'm the fool. Not that you're fools if you buy this stuff every year, but you know what I mean. I'd rather waste my money than you waste yours, but we're going to go into Soray now, which is this me metallic blue shade right here. And we're going to put it all over the lid. I will say this is a little bit darker than I intended it to be, this look. I really didn't intend for it to be this dark on the lid and stuff. And I thought that the next step here would really lighten it, but it didn't. That's okay. I'm not mad at the way it turned out. It's just not what I was expecting. And something, and I knew when I started, this is more like of a neutral grungier type blue, where my shirt's more vibrant. I was trying to go for that color. And I thought about grabbing my Glam Light Chucky palette, to be fair, because it's still sitting here, the uh, big guy one. But I just did a look with the Glam Light and Betty Boo palette, which you all, I really love that look. And I had so, I had three people compliment my look that day. Three people. I ain't never had three people compliment my look. Like in person. I mean, you all tell me if that looks good or not, but, like, in person, I mean, maybe a handful of times, you know, but never three in one day. I mean, every place I went, someone said something. I was like, oh, okay, which I did enjoy the look, so, even. Okay, now we're going to go into the shade Gleam, which is this shade right here. We're going to pop that in the inner corner. really like this palette and there's options like this is like they've got I have one two I have three different options for inner corner but usually I do not have that many options there's maybe two if you're lucky if you're lucky you get one 
But in this one, I get three. I'm like, heck yeah. Let's go. I'm, I'm ready. Alright. For eyeliner, I'm using the ColourPop and Kicker gel liner. Alright. Now, see, this, even this eye, it's a little lighter right through here compared to this eye. But I really wanted it even lighter. But we're going to take this shade Chrome right here. Pick it up. And I'm just going to put it in the center of the lid. Let me tell you what I did earlier. I had this on my finger from this side. And I wiped my finger off. Now, Greg, that's pretty, you know, pretty something there, you know? And I still had it on my finger. And I went to take a towel and I wiped that. Except... I did not wipe it all the way off. No, sir. And then, where my glasses were sitting on my nose, I got that indentation there. Drives me insane. I was trying to fix it, like, with my finger. And I took this finger. Oh. Yeah, I did that. Mm -hmm. Sure did. I had a mess. I had a mess. Needless to say, man. All right. For top lashes, we're going to go into Armani. Mascara, actually. Hold on. Let me make sure there's no fallout. I feel like they are. I've got a little bit of fallout with that shade. But we won't blame it on this because it could be me with my finger. I'm not very good at using my fingers when it comes to eyeshadows. I end up touching everything, as I just explained. Alright. Oh, for lip, I'm wearing the Oak Mac Lip Liner with the Makeup by Mario Lip Pumping in my boob in bronze glow yeah I wasn't really for sure and I felt like that's a good color especially since I have to go and do an open house at the school with my daughter today and then tomorrow I gotta guess the middle school she's in middle school I looked at her, sometimes when you look at your kids and you're like, who are you? <laughs> when they speak, sometimes I look at her and I'm like, where did you come from? But no, uh, I looked at her and uh, I didn't you know, say that, but I was like, there's something different about this child. And then I realized she's not a child anymore. I mean, she is, but she's on her way to... She's not a child, she's a, a young girl, a young lady now, let's say. And it just hit me, I like a ton of bricks. But she's the baby. But then I look at my granddaughter. She's just a wild beast. She's a whole new thing. She fears nothing. She truly is going to speak that she's going to speak her mind, do what she wants, type of thing. Not that it's going to hurt anybody or anything like that. It's just she has no limit, no fear. And anything you can do, she can do. You know what I mean? Like, and I, I don't mean it in a bad way. I, I don't. It's in a good way. It's sort of like if you can carry that trash bag to the end of the, the, from the house to the corner, I can. And she'll do it. Somehow, some way, she will fling that up over her back. But I'm like, girl, stop. You're going to hurt yourself. I can do it if they can do it. I'm like, no, they're older. So I can still do it. I'm like, okay. And like, she's just so determined that you don't want to go, no. 
and she likes to be proud of herself when she, you know, accomplishes whatever she did that everybody else did, and she's younger and stuff. And she's too smart for her own thing, to be honest, but hopefully it won't get her in trouble at all. As I said, either use it for good, not bad. So, but I gotta go to Evan House tomorrow with her. And then school starts, and it's like, wow. I got one in middle school now, and one in high school. They're one's entering middle school, one's entering high school. And my granddaughter is in elementary, so. But, it's like, I'm almost done. And like, I always thought I'd be done at 40 when my, I had two kids prior and then two kids after. So 40 was when, you know, and now to be, I'll be 50 when I'm done. But, it's just, so hard to believe that good. It just, it goes by so much. It does go by so fast. But I think back to the times when I couldn't even go to the bathroom in peace, you know? And I don't know. It's kind of sad sometimes. I get all emotional. I got mascara now down there. Great. Right. I'm doing good. Perfect. That cleaned up. I can't believe that some kids have already went back to school in some states. That's crazy. Like, we're just at the beginning of all this year, that type of thing, and kids are already going back to school. I guess we're as good as we're going to get with this look, so. But overall, it's definitely darker than I intended it to be for today. I'm not going to lie on that one. But it's still very pretty. It's more wintry than I wanted. It does kind of remember, remind me of like a winter night. Evening. Evening. You know what I mean? And I think that's why I like this. I feel like this is more fall, winter. And this one is more spring summer. Which, when you put them together, you have your year of palettes. And I think that's where Tarte really knocks it out of the park. When it comes to their holiday collections, you're getting their good formula. Just know that. You know, you're not getting their crap. You're still getting their good formula. The metallics. Okay, their metallics, though, aren't as good as what's like in the 25 year anniversary thing or the the juicy or the man eater palettes but they are so darn close so darn close so just saying if they should release something like this this year you might want to check it out like go into Ulta or Sephora and touch them because they are fantastic I hope I hope However, these are still available. I'm pretty sure it was these two that I saw still available. Half price on Tarte's website, so you might check that out too. But you won't regret it. Like, that you won't. And for mainstream, I'm thinking the price point is right on the money. Especially at half off, it's a steal. Seriously. But at full price, even, you're right on the money. In my opinion, compared to other brands. Where, like, the Urban Decay palette at $59, like, the amount of product you get, the color story, like, you can spend $65 and get a Natasha Denona. Get way more, you know, different formulas inside of that palette. The color story is kind of, you know, the same in a way. And the packaging is nicer. It's easier to clean. 
like, you know what I mean? Like, the money doesn't quite add. Now that you throw nostalgia on top of it, then it might be better than Unpassionate, depending on who you are. For me, it's not. Well, yeah, no, it's not. Like, I'm glad I got it for the nostalgia reason, but, like, if I had to choose that or Natasha Denona, I need a new say I had to do that. I'm picking Natasha Denona, just so you know. But, that is all I have for you today. I really enjoy Tori. They really, in their sister brand, I know I've been raving about them too, uh, Sugar Rush, love that too. They really have surprised me over the last couple years. You know, some brands have, some brands have, and some brands haven't changed a bit. You know what I mean? And some brands are so hit or miss, you're just so scared to even purchase anything. So, that is all I have for you today. I really enjoyed the look. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped in some way. Um, if it did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, get all of that where you're notified when I upload. I do upload every day but Sunday. And if you don't care, you can share it. I hear that it pushes me into a something algorithm or something so that more people can see it um, to get subscribers up, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how it all works. I really don't. And I know I'm not everybody's cup of tea. So, I'm not even a cup of coffee sometimes. So, you know. But, um, I'll let you go and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy, guys. Bye.